Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. I thank and praise God for this wonderful day. I thank and praise God for this um, venue, for this format, for this opportunity to share the word of God uh, through this means. Thank him for everyone he has purposed to come together through this means. Um, Thank you for just making it possible for us to gather in his word, to uh, read, to learn, to glean, uh, to be built up uh, and glorifying his word. We will be uh, edified. We will be strengthened. So I thank and praise God for that today. Uh, thank God for this day and the warmth of the day reminding us of his sovereign rule and he's got it all in control I encourage everybody especially the elderly and the kids to stay hydrated to try to stay cool uh, be safe uh, amen be safe those who are traveling with children just be safe be safe be safe uh, um, amen please Please be safe. Please be safe. Amen. In all things, be safe. Be safe. And uh, and um, and uh, be careful with traveling with infants that we not um, leave them. Amen. Uh, <laughs> um, in any dangerous place. Amen. So we're in the. Uh, bless the Lord. We're in the um, uh, book of John, chapter six. Amen. And we're in. Uh, we're going to be dealing with verses uh, forty-one through fifty-nine today. Uh, forty-one through fifty-nine, and talking about the the message and the messenger, the message and the messenger. Amen. Thank and praise God for all who are with us today. The message and the messenger. Amen. Uh, so here we are reading the word of God. The message and the messenger. The Jews then murmured at him because he said, I am the bread which came down from heaven. And they said, is not this Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How is it then that he saith? I am I came down from heaven the, Jesus therefore answered and said unto them murmur not am, among yourselves no man can come to me except the father which hath sent me draw him and I will raise him up at the last day it is written in the prophets and they shall be all taught of God every man therefore that hath heard and hath learned of the Father cometh unto me. Not that any man hath seen the Father, save he which is of God, he hath seen the Father. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me hath everlasting life. I am that bread. I am that bread. Your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead. This is the bread which cometh down from heaven, that a man may eat thereof and not die. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. The Jews therefore strove among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man, and drink his blood. Ye have no life in you. Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me, and I in him. As the living Father hath sent me, and I live by the Father, so he that eateth me, even he shall live by me. This is that bread which came down from heaven, 
not as your fathers did eat manna and are dead he that eateth of this bread shall live forever these things he th these things said he in the synagogue as he taught in Capernaum bless the Lord thank God for his word uh, we, we need to uh, understand I guess right at the outset that uh, when uh, the word in beginning in verse 41 says uh, the Jews then murmured at him um, these are the Jewish uh, leaders now these are Jewish leaders who were hostile to Jesus it was not every Jew amen um, Jesus himself was a Jew John was a Jew um, but there were Jewish leaders who were hostile toward him and you can tell that from the very tone um, that uh, that they take out that they take off saying is, isn't this Jesus isn't this Joseph's boy it, don't not we know his his father Joseph and his mother Mary and he's, is, he's, he's saying he came down from heaven and Jesus, of course, uh, hears everything and sees everything and, and warns them, don't, don't murmur among yourselves. Um, uh, every man that hath heard and hath learned of the Father cometh unto me. Uh, if you're not coming unto me, it's because you really haven't heard and you really haven't learned. Uh, then he goes on to be very specific in his identification. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me hath everlasting life. I am the bread of life. Very critical I am statement. He says, I am the bread of life. If, if you believe on me, you have everlasting life. Your fathers ate manna in the wilderness. They ate bread and they're dead. That's the bread Moses gave them. This is the bread which cometh down from heaven that a man may eat thereof and not die glory to God so he's saying if you receive me you receive everlasting life you receive more than the bread for a day you receive uh, bread for e the bread for eternity I am the living bread which came down from heaven if any man eat of this bread he shall live forever and the bread that I will give is my flesh which I give for the life of the world Glory to God. So he's telling of his purpose and of the coming crucifixion. And the Jews strove among themselves. How can this man give us his flesh to eat? And then he goes on to explain more and more. They grumbled um, because they just could not, these religious leaders could not claim Jesus' um, claim of divinity. That was their struggle. So they, had, they had issues with the messenger's claim of divinity his claim of his relationship with God his claim of being God and so they they couldn't even get to the message because they were just hung up on receiving the messenger amen they they couldn't get to the message because they were hung up on receiving the messenger oh what what a what a shame they, they saw him how? They only saw him as a carpenter from Nazareth. All they could process Jesus as is a carpenter from Nazareth. They weren't looking through spiritual eyes. They weren't looking, they weren't seeking to see through the eyes of God. They were looking through natural eyes, carnal eyes for that matter. And they saw this natural man. And they couldn't tolerate his message. And so, uh, um, many people then and many people now reject the, never get to the message because they reject the messenger. They, they cannot believe that Jesus is the Son of God. Amen. Uh, so, uh, he, he claims, uh, the claims he makes for their loyalty and for their uh, obedience. Jesus is telling them this so that they can embrace it. But they just will not, they cannot accept it. Um, so uh, uh, they um, deny themselves the benefit of the message because of their issues with the messenger. They deny themselves the benefit of the message 
because of their issues with the messenger. Oh, my brothers and sisters, um, please let us not deny what Jesus is saying because we have issues with who he claims to be or we have issues with the messenger. Uh, so, how does salvation... I, I, I know anybody gets saved because we get saved. We get saved because God provides salvation. So salvation is of God. It is of God. But he's, he says, He that believeth on me have everlasting life. I am that I am that bread of life. He's, the, watch the use of, use of the term that and the. Very specific. Your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead. This is the bread which cometh down from heaven that a man may eat thereof and not die. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. They could, they could not receive that. Mary, who, who is Mary and Joseph's son to offer us eternal life? Is he crazy? Amen. Um, uh, he, then he says, He that believeth on me hath everlasting life. Not starts and stop, but he who, con who believes and continues believing who affirms and continues affirming, who receives and continues receiving. Amen. Uh, uh, the, the church has to, um, in a sense, go back and um, help people whom we have helped get saved, but we haven't helped mature. We haven't helped grow up. We have, we got, we got them to receive Jesus but we stopped there uh, and, and we tell folk all you got to do is get saved all you got to do is get saved and so we have these um, spiritual we, we if we aren't careful we will breed uh, spiritual anemia we will breed spiritual deficiency uh, and we have to go back and seek to grow people up in the word of God and knowing who they are who they in their spirits of knowing a God's desire to to reconnect them through salvation so that at least in time they can begin to embrace God's initial plan at least in part but because of sin we can't actualize it all in time as Adam and Eve did um, because sin brought our awareness of being in this thing all time um, so uh, <laughs> th these religious leaders frequently asked Jesus to prove to them why he was better than the prophets they already had and uh, then Jesus goes right to Moses um, uh, of all the people who did anything prophetic Moses would have been the, the go-to person and he says Moses Mo great Moses is great Moses, all of us speak of, G, of Moses. All of us teach of Moses. Yet, Moses provided manna that fed you day by day by day. In time, in time, in time. This bread I offer offers you life eternally. In time and out of time. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Uh, how does Jesus give us flesh as bread to eat uh, to eat living bread means to unite ourselves with Christ amen to dine with him we unite with him amen amen we fellowship with him in that meal we are united with him that's why his instructions um, uh, and what we celebrate as Holy Communion uh, as this, this do in remembrance of me as often as you drink it you are uniting yourselves you are refreshing yourselves amen amen so we are not reunited in Christ by we accept the fact of his, the reality of his death uh, sacrificial death and of his resurrection his victory over death and then we devote ourselves to living uh, lives that reflect this um, and I'm totally dependent on the Holy Spirit for power.
This message, yeah, we, we, we can admit that this was a shocking message for the Jews. The Jews were just trudging along day by day in a very um, time-bound kind of way. Amen. Um, and so when Jesus comes talking about eating his flesh and drinking his blood, that sounds a little weird um, and a little um, repulsive um, to some of them. But he was saying that his life had to become their own, but they could not accept this concept. He had to say that his life, his life was being made available to them through the sacrifice of his body and the shedding of his blood. Amen. And this is the same imagery we use now in talking about Holy Communion, when we receive the bread and when we drink the cup. The, the, back to the, the, the main emphasis, the main focus of today's uh, uh, lesson is that th these Jewish leaders failed to, re to receive the message because they rejected the messenger. They, they could not even embrace the substance of the message because they couldn't get beyond Jesus in the flesh. Jesus the man they, 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 their spirits were not receiving receptive their spirits were um, uh, it seems they were blinded to the reality of who Jesus was praise the Lord um, uh, we get the message God's message of empowerment God's message of salvation God's message of renewal God's message of refreshing God's message of opportunity, God's message of promise. Receive the message. Receive the messenger. Jesus, any of us, any of us, I and all who spread the word of God, the gospel, the good news, um, do it in the shadow of Jesus. It is Jesus, the messenger. And his message that we must receive. There's no other gospel to share. Glory to God. His message. Of, of his life being sacrificed. The gracious gift of his life. And the simultaneous. Uh, gift of his mercy. Withholding the judgment the death sentence, the separation, the permanent separation from God that we all deserve because of sin. Receive the message. Receive the messenger. Jesus was right, is right, will forevermore be right. He is the way, the truth, the life. If you don't, if you haven't received him, please do today. That's the only way to access this life-giving bread and drink. God bless you. God keep you. Well, saints, be blessed. Take care of yourselves. Look out for and check on others. Walk in the love of God. God bless you and keep you till we meet again. Love everybody, especially those of the household. Seek to do good to everyone, especially to those of the household of faith. In Jesus' name.